Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Look, it's my hands. So, you read the title. Wait, what the? Okay, you read the title correctly. Um, okay, I'm gonna step. Okay, I'm gonna actually fix it. Okay, there we go. So, you read the title correctly. We, in this video, we're gonna be unboxing this. I mean, like, th this is pretty gaming. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna give a, like, kind of recap of what happened. I'm gonna be using my hands a lot. <laughs> And so I'm going to be giving a recap of what happened, what's going on, why we're here, and then, but you can skip to, uh, if you want to skip all that and you just get the TLDR, then there should be a timestamp up here or something. So anyway, so starting off, um, Moonshine, the creator of Off The Grid, he was selling a bunch of his stuff because he was moving. So I thought, you know, um, I wonder what he's selling. Well, apparently uh, he was selling this right here. Um, practically all of the figures from off the grid and more screen use stuff all the strikers um, the second version of ultimate raptors which we'll get into and a bunch of other stuff and he's selling it on eBay and while I could have technically made it for the auction I was like eh, I, I it would be risky so and I really wanted to get this because I didn't well I'm sure the 30 people who bid on it would have maybe used it well I just wanted to, I wanted someone to use it who would actually use it for animations and kind of keep it in the community. So that's one of the main reasons why I got it. But, um, so yeah, so I offered him some money, I won't say how much it was, and uh, now it's here. So, but the community, um, what he did was when I, when I gave him money, he took the post down and he didn't say it sold. So everyone was freaking out, and there should be some screenshots on screen. Um, so it was like this big deal, and no one knows, kind of, um, unless you're on Discord and I posted a video kind of leaking this video. But anyway, without further ado, uh, short story is I bought all the figures from off the grid, <laughs> practically, almost. There isn't shift or some other things, but um, I'm going to be using a butter knife, so that way, even though you can see it does have, like, probably up to here is where the stick butts start. I'm just going to be cutting it with a butter knife because I thought thought it was going to be more delicate, but it actually is like too delicate. Okay, I'm going to find another. Okay, I'm bringing out my uh, my seven-year-old box cutters. Uh, as you can see, I label it knife. Oh, dang. Okay, that's actually kind of... Okay, there, there, okay. This is like scary. I was remembering back in like 2019, I always wondered if I was ever gonna be, like, have the chance to actually, like, I don't know, it would be, I was thought, I kind of joked with myself, it'd be funny to make, if I was one day able to make, like, a review on this or something. And now it's here, and I'm doing it. So it's kind of weird. Uh, how that worked. Okay, there we go. Some, uh, pretty good tape. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, my God. So, yeah, this came with, uh, I think it was, like, it looked like it could have been 200 stick plots. I mean, like, it was a lot. Um, so, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of the, oh my god, okay. So, uh, I guess we should probably be uh, starting with them. So, alright, first bag, um, we got a bunch of hair. Some of it's customized, which is actually kind of cool. So, this is probably. Some of the custom hair that was used in Off The Grid. I mean, this is like... Oh my god, where do I start? <laughs> so, we have this big bag, which has, you know... the. We'll get to this later. Um, but we have some... So, a lot of these stick bots, I never gotten until now. Like, um, these different... These different ones, with, like the different colors in the box. That's kind of exciting. We have our kind of glitter... Um, bought from like the old packaging in the box once again 
pretty nice. We have uh, two more stick bots in the box. And actually, this is one of the capes from the action pack, from this off the grid action pack. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like make this little. I put all this, I put like this little rug, like this little mat over it so I could do something like this and it, I think it worked pretty well. So then we have in box, off the grid, or not off the grid, oh my god, stick bot monster, sorry. Um, Gigantis, I think, yeah. So pretty gaming, pretty gaming. Um, okay, so, all right, here we have some of the pets. I'm, Including, I think this was the rare, um, uh, this was like out of the mystery packs, this is the rare one, the, uh, glowing chicken, so we'll get into that. And here, here are the strikers, um, all the screen used strikers, which is, um, let me focus the, my camera is really bad focus, okay, there, so, once again, we'll, we'll, we'll look back into that in a second. So, um... Okay, this is a... Oh, Jesus. Okay. So... Uh, I'll, I guess I should open this. So, we have... Oh, this is an... Okay, so we have kind of some of the... I think he it looks like he's sticky tack. So, as you know, or probably know... Uh, there are a couple different kinds of stick bots that are like, you know, gold. Um, so these two. So this one was the one given away in some stuff to like stick bot uh, creators. Like Kids Filming Club and I think it was also in some limited um, edition releases of stick bots. So he has a bunch of them and I actually, yeah, here, this is how they'd package them in like... Um, in that kind of like, like it's a, it's an interesting packaging, so it's cool. He has a couple of them in the box. I saw the listing. Then these are the um, these are the monsters that were used for off the grid in that little opening, or I guess is actually the end. So we can see we have a couple of them. So that's cool. So um, I'm sure um, you guys are curious for what's going on. So let's probably. I'm going to readjust the camera and then we can take a better look at them. Also, by the way, I'm sorry if um, if the camera doesn't look good or if um, anything goes wrong. So I'm thinking we should probably first, sorry for the kind of messy desk. I guess you guys probably might want to see the strikers. I know I do. So here's our, uh, here's our first striker. Um, he's been through a lot, as we can see. Well, actually, throw it a bit so you can... Let me see his suction cups on the... He probably can't stick very... Oh, no, he's actually... For sticky tech, it's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, Moonshine said, um... That he... At one... Like, he had... The stick bots... He had to have, I think it was... Like, eight strikers throughout the entire show, like just to film because their faces and suction cups will wear off along with their strings. And so this is one of the lucky eight, I guess. So, so we have, then we have another guy right here who, I always wondered what he used for this band right here. And I know it's not really focused, but it kind of, okay, I, I'm going to sit him down. But yeah, this is interesting. You can kind of see this has the problem with the, um, see that? Oh, <laughs> see how the, um, it, like the, it's the string. It's kind of worn out of it. So that's probably why you had to replace a bunch of them, including this guy. Yeah, look at that. So, um, yeah, these are our two first, uh, strikers. Let me move them a bit more into the frame a bit. Let's take a look at a couple more. We have okay, this guy. Um, I he would uh, he said that like I think Stickbots bled like black in his character universe thing, so that's why they kind of have like that black thing on him. I think that was when he went into the nightmare realm for the first time. I don't know. Okay, this guy, I like his little 
It's a little dapper outfit. This was, um, it's obviously been worn out a bit. I think his head's backwards, but it wants to kind of stay that way for whatever reason. Like the screen prefers to be like that. So you can see we have like his little weapon holstered. Does this, I think it's one mold. Yeah, okay. And then we have his um, little ammunition that kind of fell out. And then we have his little communicator that looks like it slid a bit, which makes sense. I mean, like, some of these guys, more likely these guys, have are like six years old, maybe? And then, all right, this guy is, we can see actually, uh, we can see he kind of um, hand drew his mouth back in. So he probably kind of wore out as well. I'm going to zoom out a bit more. It's kind of funny having all these strikers next to each other. Okay, this is a this is a heavily used one. He's missing his uh, his suction cup, like um, Blue and Lost Dimensions Three. And he has lots of marks. So I guess this was where, or you can kind of see. Um, I don't. Sorry, uh, camera recording died. <laughs> um, I don't know if he included the parts for them, but. Um, the I'm pretty sure that uh, like this is where the you can see the remnants of where the arc blaster went right right there so yeah this guy's been through a lot probably ironically he has the best face and oh my god the, so the sticky tech actually it's kind of like it's hardened on this on this guy especially um, This guy is probably in the best condition, I'd say. Besides the feet, which are actually kind of still sticky because, you know, sticky tack. But, um, yeah, let me... Just, wow. <laughs> the most bronze stick bots I've seen. And then this guy, this is like the... I always thought he looked like the Jawa. Um, this is the one when... I think it was... He went, like, Striker went off the grid for a while when he was first um, endangered or reported or something like it's like a wanted level so yeah in GTA no I don't know why I said it like that but yeah so here we are we've got the yeah we've got I think it's eight of them yeah so um, pretty pretty gaming there's there's a couple of them uh, so that's, that's pretty cool okay we have our Beloved Strikers. This is actually kind of weird having so many that look the same. I mean, he did a good job making them all look the same, so props to that. Um, now let's get into the first uh, custom uh, box. And let's start uh, with the main characters. And we're going to this guy who... Uh, I think it was... The movie was When Monsters Attack? I think that was it. Our main character here. Let me... looks pretty good and is this hat oh that's okay yeah so I don't know if he did this in ten I, he probably did so some fab wait no is this like that yeah so some fabric on some figures um it has it has wire in it oh maybe no okay so some fabric has wires in it so that way it's posable in stop motions and other uh, mediums so that's pretty cool but yeah this is um it's weird, like, you know, seeing the video and then holding the custom. I recently binged uh, off the grid, and it was like... And then to this, for this to be sale and obtain it and now holding them in my hands, it's weird. Okay. This is, um... I forgot his name. It was Clint's brother. Missing some of his armor, but... He's, pre he's pretty gamey. I really like um, the fabric that they used on these guys. I know that um, fabric I am not good with when it comes to fabric. I just like prefer to get the ones that come with figures and then just reuse them. Like if there was a Star Wars figure that had a cape, I just put it on a stick bot. Because making custom fabric is, especially on this tiny scale, yeah. So right, let's pull out a couple. So these guys, really well done. Uh, worn. I think these were one of the rebellion. 
like uh, at the end of the show. And so that's he's chilling. He has like all the kind of see the the high detail, the dirt and grime. He looks really good. I'd say like I just love that kind of um, diesel punk aesthetic. Um, oh yeah, I, okay. I'm, I'm gonna turn the camera this way because I I'm more right-handed probably. So when I okay, there's no way, there's no good way to do this. I'm just gonna okay. This guy only got a couple seconds of screen time, I think, uh, and off the grid. It was like they were asking people to do stuff, or like they were asking like where's striker or something and he was one of the people who was asked i think so pretty cool this is one of the reasons why i was so excited to receive uh this package he made these like custom damage stick bots oh these might actually be from when monsters attack and they look so good they're so detailed and i love all the little like i think this is um uh oh my god i forgot the forgot the word for it um it's a kind of paint um some stick tubers used to make customs and when you layer it it gives a really nice little aesthetic so yeah i'm gonna quickly pull these guys out because the paint is actually getting on my hands and then the camera so I'm just going to like quickly show some of these guys off and then just put them there. Um, we'll probably find a couple more, but those are the main ones. Okay. Now this, this is the one that people have been waiting for. Oh, shit. dang. They aren't messing around. Is this metal? Okay. So, what's that? Wait, wait. I have to do like the dramatic, um, like the, like the, I don't know. Okay. Yep. It's the guy. It's the man, the myth, the legend. This is, um, the one, uh, this is probably going to be like the thumbnail guy. Let me, um, fix the camera. But I just wanted to make him stand up. Okay. So yeah, this is, um, I believe this is version three of, there are three different versions of, um, well, of, um, like, Ultimate Raptus, or I think that was his name. <laughs> and I believe this is the it's the second version got converted into the third. So I there might be a first version that's separate, but I doubt it. But this, um, this is um, like this is custom molded. I thought that this was like not custom molded, but it is. This is like full on. It feels like metal. It's probably just hard plastic, but. It's definitely high quality, and what I wanted to do is some people in the um, 3D printing community. So this guy might be a bit dusty, but some people in the 3D printing community they made custom models like this, presumably based on Ultimate Raptus, which I think they're 12 inches tall. So he's a bit short, actually. I thought he was going to be a bit taller. I thought he was going to be around their height, but. Um, I think they're pretty good. So, it was place ultimate raptus there. But yeah, I thought he might have used wire or something, but no. He full on like recreated the stick bot uh, base by hand. And if you didn't see before, he added the string as well, which is once again pretty cool. We have another like burnt uh, translucent green. Technically, this is actually my first translucent green stick bot. Um, he was burned to a crisp, so kind of funny, but, uh, yeah, okay, so there's a couple other, like, you know, um, burned guys, but I think this, this is the thing that a lot of people are going to be excited about. I'm pretty sure this is the prototype dog, or... Or, I don't know when, I don't know the timeline perfectly in my head of when Stick Pets, along with Off The Grid, came out. I think they came out after. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is like a prototype or like his just interpretation. I like it because it kind of goes to the StickBot's basic geometry. I think I... Okay, let me grab a 
Clay then tried to find a stick dog that he did not have for way too long while almost knocking over his TV. Okay, yeah, I can't find it. It's probably in my box. I just don't have it. I, or I just lost it or something. I don't know. But I'll probably put another guy on screen who looks like, or like the, the other version for reference. Okay, so put our stick dog to the side. And also it's painted. Um, and the same, it might be electrical tape that he uses for striker and that guy's like eye. So if I remember correctly, this was from When Monsters Attack, but you know, it's been a while since I've seen it, so I don't know for sure. But once again, this one's really nicely painted and actually might work well for a video I just, um, I've been thinking about. So. If that does come to plan, I may have to use it. Now, uh, okay, so now we get to the, uh, was it like the grid? Uh, I don't know if they ever, they, um, they, had, they probably had a name, oh, wait, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but he has like that, like, little chin drawing right there. Pretty gaming. But, um, yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool. We have a couple of them in here, so I might just like uh, show them off for a second. Hmm. I believe this was one of the villains in the show, but honestly, I don't remember. I'm I don't have the best memory, honestly. So he was probably in um, off the grid. So. Like maybe like a random bounty hunter or something. He could have been one of the patrolling guards or something, but I don't know. Here is a um was this um this could have been one of um the got the the main villain's minions, I think. I think is uh this could have been him. I don't know if this is intentional, but the legs were hot glued. Maybe they were too loose. They, they. S okay, so we're back. Sorry, camera can only record for like 14 minutes at a time, so I have to keep on restarting the footage. Um. So, I originally thought that these guys, like the grid characters, uh, these things, were made out of Gundam parts, and I'm pretty sure they are. So, they go and scale pretty well despite actually them not <laughs> technically but it looks pretty good and so I think these were the bots that were used for off the grid like um, like those robots that um... god what were they um... like they manufactured them to beat striker or something okay here here's another main character we have the was it like no 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 it could i'm gonna say it was like this but i don't know for sure so we have i forgot her name um wait here's the hair bag uh do we have the hair for her i think she sprayed it a little bit like she painted it a bit no uh maybe not actually Okay, no. Um, so, I think it was one of, I think it was one of these, but I'm going to say it was more black, uh, but I don't remember for sure. So, here we go. Um, so, she's, she's officially gaming. We have, um... All right, so while we're uh, on the subject of uh, female leads, I guess, this is Pixel, my favorite stickpot custom made by Moonshine, um, as you know. And I'm pretty sure there were a couple... Wait. Man, I can't tell if these are different or not. They look different. They kind of look different on camera, too. I'm going to say they're different, but they sure don't... They're pretty similar. Here's a... Um, Here's another stick pot. Burned to a crisp. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. 
Okay, we have um, another uh, stick bot who I think he was from When Monsters Attack, but honestly, like, my memory is a goldfish, like I said before, so I don't know. This was one of the guys from the Rebellion, I think. Maybe. Um, I want to say yes, but I don't know. Okay, now, um, while we're on the Rebellion, talk about the rebellion I don't know if it was uh, just me but this guy I always thought was kind of like he had like the iconic um, kind of character design he has like the little metal chain that holds his backpack in so I believe the backpacks are from uh, 3A figures a lot of the other that's I mean, a bunch of the characters are 3A figures so in off the grid so for those wondering this guy is like a pyromaniac, uh, Pyro TF2, looks like a flamethrower, maybe attachment that go right there. More, um, well this guy's like a bullet wound in him, see that? It's like kind of, actually kind of comes out. Once again, nice little painted stick bot. So I'm pro so I'm probably gonna there's a bunch of different characters in here that are from off the green oh I think this actually this is either fake leather or real leather. I think it's fake if this is leather. I don't know fabrics that well. But um either way, the fact that he changed the texture specifically for it. Yeah. So, uh, there are, like, you know, there's a couple of these guys. So, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna take them apart and, or, oh, dude, dude. Okay, never mind. I'm probably just gonna record a couple of these guys and then just kind of compilation together. So, there's a bunch more. If you guys really want me to make another video on them, I might. So, this is, um, this is the shift. This is, like, like, he's probably, I'd say, a lot of these guys, like, they fell apart or something. Or they're a bit tethered or tethered or whatever. Shift right here. He's probably one of my favorite customs throughout the whole show. And he's, he looks like he's doing pretty good, which is nice. We have, um, oh, this is kind of sad. Stickbot, who has been potentially tied up for six years, um, I'm gonna rip off his face. I know I might be hurting collectors. Faces everywhere. Oh my god. Still in pristine condition. Buy stickbots now. Zing store. Um, they last a while. Okay, I'm gonna stick moonshine duct tape to desk. Because I have nowhere else to put it. Anyway. Um, more tattered bots. <laughs> Oh, here he is. Here he is, the gaming. Yo, it's, he's gaming. Gaming. Okay. So, this actually... Okay. So, we actually... We have... Uh, we have Shift. I didn't think that Shift was... This isn't the... This is... So, looks like Moonshine bought the... Um, you can see from the other stuff. He bought the um, the action packs and then, like, improved it with the actual glasses. But, um, he might have actually taken him off of the real shift, which is right here. This is the iconic shift from the show, with his, um, with his, like, armor? They, um, yeah, so I guess, it's actually kind of cursed, almost, sorry. <laughs> it's actually kind of cursed, almost, not seen with the glasses, but, um, those people who wanted a um, a comparison for like uh, tens of thousands of years, uh, sure. I don't know. We have a more intense version who is wobbly. Oh my god. Um, we have like. 
Um, like, not too tethered compared to the other ones. The other ones are like full paint. That one's kind of tethered. Once again, a uh, nice little, nice little gaming stick bot. He, he's gaming as a little backpack or something. I, I, I don't know. Oh, we have our lion with um, pretty frightening claw there. So I just want to show you what we've ha like what's happened. Look at that. We started with the strikers over there. And now we've just like built up all the way. See that? Oh, okay. I am. Um, I guess there's, you know. There's a bunch of these guys, but I think that there is one person who we all. Or, um, I just remembered he's probably in here somewhere. That I think. A lot of people remember him from the show. This is the mad scientist that actually created or like revitalized Ultimate Raptus back there. So that's kind of little, little new addition. This is the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> um, Raptus, and he—he's a bit loose. But he is probably, like, I mean, he's he's looking pretty good. I mean, he was meant to be tattered in the show like some of these other customs. But yeah, I'd say he's looking pretty good. Raptus has, um, he's returned to his uh, former glory, kind of. And then we have, like, like uh, push these guys just a bit back there. We can have, like the big raptus um with him on his lap it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to even though the stick bot can't look down oh i could wow okay Very wholesome moment. Very wholesome. But, um, so besides a couple other figures, which are, as much as I want to show them off, they're pretty much the same as the other guys. Just kind of repeats or something. Um, the other guys, these ones are pretty much all, um, they're all brand new. So I, they're probably not as gonna, they're probably not gonna be. So some of them are actually customized a little bit, but I mean, like, gluing the hat, um, that's, that's kind of the most we're going to get with some of these. So besides, um, looking at, you know, like, um, like, you know, skeleton that's funny because he was used in off the grid and he like screamed or something, that's probably as far as we're going to get. Um, in terms of like actual stuff, but um, for the hell of it, why don't we open a stick lock that's been sealed for a while? Never escaping its packaging. Okay, yeah, let's uh, right, here's the knife. God, it's been so long since I've opened this packaging and I like actually forgot where to begin. Okay, I can just. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yep. I saw this guy on eBay. He was selling like in package stick box for 20 bucks. I don't know how much they would cost, like these original guys. Um, I don't know how much they would cost in package, but. I don't know about you, but 20 bucks seems too expensive for one stick bot who has been in the, has been in the box since um, the beginning of time. But uh, look, we have a brand new old stick bot that you guys can't see because of my hand. So here we are. He's gonna 
Look at like... I don't know. Man, I don't know. But um, I just want to say huge thank you to Moonshine for sending me all these. And this was just a very fun experience. Actually, okay. Screw it. I'm just going to... Here's the glowing chicken. I know everyone came here for him. Um, this, all of this was just like... It, it was a lie. It was all for, you know, fabulous golden chicken. Glowing chicken. So, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye. Moonshine, if you're watching, I have one final question, which is, will Striker ever be on the grid? Alright, thanks.